Whitney is here is a perfect reflection of what we were just talking about. And, you know, I can tell from your emotions that you haven't kept this a secret for so long from everyone, including your boyfriend. Yeah, um, there's no way I would ever be able to bring myself to tell my boyfriend about this because if I did, I'd feel like he'd run away and I would have to just open that door again of, you know, being bullied and being treated poorly just because of my teeth. And so nobody at home knows about this. And I decided to come on here to let people know that it is real and people have this and that they're not alone. I just wonder how much of this has really limited you, even socially, you know, engaging with people, feeling free to be yourself. How much of that has impacted you and how you connect with people? It impacted me greatly, like growing up, I remember being at cheer camp and I had, when I had the snap on smiles, I would have to like hide in the shower to brush my teeth and mm -hmm. any kind of sleepovers. I was never one of the girls that they're brushing their teeth. And, right. and before I got the snap on smiles, it was everything I did was just completely secretive. Like I never let anyone see me smile and I'd always cover my mouth while we were mm -hmm. doing any kind of laughing or talking even. I want to pull back just a moment, Dr. Dorfman, so everyone can understand what Whitney is dealing with. I mean, well, first of all, I've known you. I'm going to cry too, <laughs> since you were 15. And um, I know she was bullied and, you know, people made fun of her and they, they thought it was her fault, like she didn't mm -hmm. brush her teeth or, you know, she was a drug addict, you know, which is not the truth. It's not her fault. You know, this is a very, very rare genetic disorder. And basically what happens in dentinogenesis imperfect is your teeth is formed of layers. The outer layer of your teeth is, is a hard enamel, and then the inner layer is a softer dentin. The dentin doesn't form properly. Mm -hmm. So what happens is the enamel flakes off. So Whitney could be eating just regular food like you all eat, and her teeth just crumble apart. Mm. And, and it, it's not her fault. Plus, they have this dark brownish or bluish discoloration, which makes it even worse. Yeah. And Dr. Dorfman, I always say that dentistry has come such a long way. Mm. And there are now more options. Yeah, and you know what? I think it's time that we give you the smile you always dreamed of. <laughs> and. What we've done is my colleagues and I, along with Da Vinci Dental Studios, who are going to make all your teeth, have made a plan where we can put crowns and veneers on all your affected teeth so you don't have to be ashamed of the way you smile. And guess what? I have a little surprise for you. We're going to start right now. As soon as we're done. We're going to go right now from here to my office in Century City, and you're going to go home tonight with beautiful white temporaries, and you're going to show everybody your beautiful smile. How's that? That's so wonderful. Whitney. We've been waiting since she's 15 years old. That's to do so this. great. Whitney, how do you feel? Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy for you. You have one assignment I'm going to give you. So Dr. Dorfman is going today to give you the beautiful smile you deserve. But then over the next week, before we have you back on the stage, we need you to exercise that smile. <laughs> and don't be afraid to smile and show this world your beautiful smile, oh, okay? Oh, don't worry. I know she That's will. That's your only moment. <laughs>